So learning goal seven uh, is all about estimating, just to see if your answer is reasonable or not. So mm -hmm. this is a really good skill to use, just to make sure you're doing the right thing. So here we go, we'll learn how to do that. So the first way that you can estimate an answer is to use benchmarks. Now what we mean by benchmarks are, when you think of fractions, a lot of times, of course we know like the value of zero, we know the value of one, and most of us, I think, are pretty feel pretty confident about one half as well. So even almost a fourth and three fourths would be close, but the mm -hmm. ones we'll deal with are one, one yeah. half, and zero. Yep. So when you're looking here, we have three eighths plus five six. Well, you can think about three eighths as a fraction, and you can think to yourself, well, is it closer to zero? Is it closer to one half, or is it closer to one? In this case, three eighths. We were showing you this, this visual too right. that it's close to four eighths or equal to one half. Right. So we can think of three eighths as close to one half. Then we have five six over here, and if you look here with five six sort of represented in a different visual way, mm -hmm. it's really close to one. So when I'm looking here now, I can think, well, I'm I'm close to a half and I'm close to one whole. So my estimated answer would be uh, one and a half. Right. And again, that's just a guess. It's mm -hmm. just a guess as to what you think the answer will be close to. Yes. That way when you actually solve it, you can see if you're probably right. That's mm -hmm. what it all comes down to is using common sense. So if you got an answer that said, I don't know, like 20, you would know just based on your estimate, like that oh. would make no sense right. at all. <laughs> so that's what we want you to do right here. Is you've had a lot of practice adding and subtracting fractions. So right. this time you're going to add 3 eighths plus 5 six. We gave you the estimated answer. You want to figure out the actual answer and see if it's right. close to this. Yeah. Okay? So that is going to be your first problem in your journal to work out yep. and, and be ready to share. Yep. And then the second way of finding an estimated answer, and get used to seeing that and hearing that word because mm -hmm. in most of the units you're going to have a learning goal on being able to estimate to see if your answer makes sense. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of math is just seeing if it actually truly makes any sense <laughs> at all. Yeah. Um, so the second method is rounding. So again, if you think about those benchmarks to some degree, 5, 6 is really close to 1. So I'm going to round that up. It's a lot closer to, so since I had two holes, two and five, six would be closer to the next hole, which would be three. Mm -hmm. So I'm just rounding this up to three. Seven and one eighth, well, anything that's a unit fraction like this where the numerator is one and the denominator is something else, it's pretty close to zero. So I'm going to just leave this as seven. So this becomes a three, this becomes a seven. So if I am estimating based on my rounding, I would just be adding 3 plus 7 and get 10. So now your job is to try to solve this problem and see if your actual answer is this close to our estimated answer of 10. And if you're pretty close, then you should feel mm -hmm. comfortable that you're probably going to be right. This is you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so now you are going to practice actually doing both. We want you to either use benchmarks or rounding to come up with an estimated answer first. Mm -hmm. So look at these, come up with your estimated answer, and even put that in your journal too. Estimated answer for this problem would be blank. And right. then you're actually going to solve and share what your actual answer is too. So you yep. should have two answers, yep. estimated and then actual. And they should be different. If your estimate yep. is identical to your actual, then you didn't estimate right. Right. Your actual answer might be right, but your estimate is not right. Mm -hmm. So good luck, and we will talk more about estimation tomorrow.